If all else fails, guess what? If, for real, this is real talk. If all this fails right now, I'll go get a job at Walmart. Good morning, guys. Today is Monday, August 5th, 2024. We have 88 days until we launch the All Dreams platform worldwide to amateur athletes all around the world where they'll be able to capture their sports journey, build a community, and earn money from that community that wants to support their dream. It's exciting, man. It's exciting. Monday morning, Monday morning, oh, man. I tell you what, um, me personally, I wouldn't be able to do something over and over and over and over again and repeat that if, first off, I wasn't in love with doing it and <laughs> and I hated to do it. It's just like, I don't understand how that happens. Like how do you go someplace that you hate every single week, top of the week, right? Just in exchange for money. But I get it, I really get it, because we all have to eat, we all have to take care of things, we all have bills, right? Um, but my question is, are you setting yourself up for success or are you setting yourself up for failure? That's my question today, because you can't have both. You know, you, you, can't, you can't have both. You're either setting yourself up for success where you want to be, or you're setting yourself up for failure where you don't want to be. And that's done by your mindset, your habits, routines, things you're doing daily. Every single day, you're either setting yourself up for success or you're setting yourself up for failure. And me personally, I believe it, it I believe it starts in your in your mind, you know? I really do. I believe it starts in your mind. Because the reason I say that is because yo, a lot of people are delusional and they're scared or even just bypass telling their self the truth. Like just being honest with their self first, right? And then um, the arrogance. Like it's so much arrogance that people have. Like I don't give up and you know the word. Humility that I have, if I have a goal that I'm going towards or that I want, no matter how high I've ever been, I will take myself back to the bottom. Be it temporary, be it one month, three months, six months, nine months, a year, I will start fresh. Listen, if all else fails, guess what? If, for real, this is real talk. If all this fails right now, I'll go get a job at Walmart, work my way back up. Will you do the same? Like, literally, bro, I will go take a job. If this fail, I will go take a job. I almost actually did, but it wasn't in the cards. When I was at, when I was back at home and um, 
try to get into the accelerators. I had a friend, he has a hundred million, is he, I, I have a friend, his friend has a hundred million dollar company. I said, yo, can you get me in that company? A week later, nothing happened. He calls me, he says, yo, I'm sorry, man, I forgot, you know, you still wanna do it, come down to Atlanta. I said, no, I'm staying on course. Point being, like, I wasn't gonna stop all dreams, but I was trying to set myself up for success. With no humility, like no, I mean, with, with, with all the humility, with no pride, like, yo, I'm prideful that I, you know, I'm too prideful to do this. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Bro, listen. I went from being a professional basketball player to cleaning toilets in a penitentiary for guards. Like that was my job in prison. Talk about humility. People cheering. Signing autographs to cleaning the CEO's commode quarters, their bathrooms. It was disgusting. So you either setting yourself up for success or setting yourself up for failure. It's really just that simple. Too much pride. Oh, I'm too good to do that. Set yourself up for failure. Make an adjustment. Sit short term, you know what I'm saying? Yo, you gotta do something short term. Stack your money. Do it. Set yourself up for success. Get on the grind. Put your head down. Right? All right, I'm getting to work. I don't know if I told you guys, it's like 707. When I came in, it was like, like seven o'clock, 659, something like that. Just had the meeting with my uh, my weekly meeting with my uh, entrepreneur residents for Lost New York. For some reason, I don't know, it did not film the meeting, and there was so much value in that meeting. I don't know where it went. Like honestly, um, that's frustrating to me because, like, obviously I document everything, and it's so much information that I need to go back and watch. This is sort of like watching game film and you know in basketball or sports or whatever. Like it's so many things in there that you need to go back and watch it over and over again because it's so much value that's said that's probably not going to be said Again, same conversation, the value is said a different way, but it's never said the, the same way that it was said. It, it, does that make any sense? So um, today we updated uh, the value proposition. Um, my homework is to review the business model canvas 
uh, sheets. I uh, also told them about like the you know customer uh, survey that I made and doing customer discovery. So he has a unique way to teach how to do customer discovery, which seems much more effective than trying to uh, send messages on Instagram asking people to fill out a survey, right? Um, talking to people face-to-face uh, -face and it's a certain way to get leads for this. And again, this is things that, man, it's, it's, it's crazy because if I'm not in this program, I don't know these things. And I, I make this the same, this is equivalent to LeBron James teaching Bronny James things that the regular person just would never know about. The regular basketball player just would never know about. It's, it's equivalent, you know? Like, it's some things that looking at the game or looking at startup world, looking at business, it's some things that if you don't have a, a person that's knowledgeable, that knows these things, that you would never have access to that information. And that's kind of what I'm going through right now. It's like, man, like, I thought I was a, a business person, like I'm an entrepreneur. I say it every single day, I'm an entrepreneur. And not having some of this information is mind boggling to me. Because I look at it like, damn, all of the stuff that I've learned in 18 years in entrepreneurship, but then I look at other people that are entrepreneurs, I'm like, yo, damn. Like, that's starting out, that think that, you know, they are gaining speed or they, you know, but if they don't have the right mentorship, the, the right coaching, man, it's so many things that they're missing. And in entrepreneurship, speed is such a virtue, right? Uh, so, yeah, that was a meeting. Sorry if I rambled on a little bit, but I'm very, very passionate about these things and very, very passionate about uh, learning. That's what happened. I didn't press the button, the record button. But, yeah, it's such a process. You know, it's, it's such a process, and... I'm grateful that I'm able to be involved in this program so it can help my business. So yeah. <clears throat> it's like 306 uh PM. Um man, it's been raining all day, so it just cleared up, so I was not able to go grab lunch. Um I wanna show you, I wanna show you guys something. Um because I swear, look, this is like the difference between, it's just, you know, it's a difference, like I don't see many, I don't see, like, beside myself, like what other black creator is documenting building their company, and I'm asking this because I see I watch these all the time. Like I watch Daniel Dallin. Uh, this is um, Marcus Milone from uh, Minton, New York. But I watch this stuff and or Starter Story. Like all I see, like on like the Black YouTube side, honestly. And please fill me in. Like tell me if it's other creators that's doing sort of like 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 we are doing. Like you know, like documenting building our business. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like documenting or everything is more about dating and all that type of stuff or whatever. To each his own, you know what I mean? Like, but this is the type of content that that I like to consume or whatever. Um, and I'm not sure if you guys have even heard of these guys or whatever from Minton, New York, 
but like this video right here, like similar type of video, uh, like they like running, you know what I'm saying? Like I play basketball, they're building their company, they're in their office showing like behind the scenes stuff, I'm doing the same thing. But like this video, like 40K views, you know, like this kid, this, you know, this guy, Marcus Malone is like at 20, 24,000 subs or whatever. It's like, yo, like, I just think the difference is like they have an audience for people that want to, you know, that, that want to build, that want to see behind the scenes building business. And I swear, I just think the black audience just want to talk about dating and shit like that. Like, it, like it's just, it's like night and day, but I want you guys to take a look at it. You kind of have to lean on, lean on the people who know this best and we can use our eye to see if it clashes, but uh, really using them as a resource to make sure everything goes together quite well. Four total women's products. Half tight. Half tight. Uh, race tank. I think that, you know, fit and function is going to be paramount. Fifty-seven videos and actually 